Good morning, Jamie here. Uh, great news, we've just acquired a plugin called Easy Smooth Scroll Links and it has currently over 60,000 sites using it, so it's a really popular plugin. Um, it's great for one page of websites and it's great for um, anchor points within your page. So I'm gonna give you a look at it now, what you can do with it, and hope you like it. Okay, so here we go. This is Easy Smooth Scroll Links, the plugin. It's a free plugin from um, that you can download from WordPress.org. So if you just search for it, um, and you'll see it here, and you can install it like any other plugin. It has some settings uh, built into it, which is quite cool. So you can change this, um, the scroll speed, that's how fast it goes up and down. The offset here, that's whether it goes straight down to the anchor point or you have a little leeway in it. And then we've got these different effects that you can build into it as well uh, and some other cool stuff here but basically you don't really need to change any of the settings to start using it um, you can use it out of the box without touching anything here's an example of a site a page that I've used just doing these links here and this is the resultant effect so you click on these links and you get this lovely smooth scroll effect down to that uh, point so these are great this is great if you've got either a one-page website or if you, 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 know, you want to create a table of contents section on your website, or you've got longer pages and you want to make it easier uh, for your readers to navigate to specific sections. It's very simple to set up. So I'm going to set one up for you just so you can see how easy these are to do. Uh, but basically, um, and you can do this in the block editor or in the classic editor, it works the same way. So you create your, uh, the way I would recommend you do it is you create your anchor point first. So let me just create one down here. So I'm just going to put some dummy text down here so we can have a bit of breathing space. So let me just pop a paragraph in, a few paragraphs. So this is, um, and let's put a heading here, which we'll call our, let's put a heading, and we'll call this our history. Okay, now the important point here is that you need to go to advanced over here on the right for the block settings, and you're looking for HTML anchor. That's what we're interested in. And that's your anchor point, basically. So you need to make sure you remember what you call that. I'm just gonna call it history, so it's easy to remember. And we're gonna to link to that anchor point in a few seconds. Let me just put some more text in here so we can actually see it working. So there we go, just click on that and you can see there's my anchor point. And that's what I'm gonna use when I create my link up here. So all I have to do is come back up here. Um, I'm gonna put our history. And then this is the key bit, you link it as you would create any other link, uh, but you need to put a hash and then the name of your anchor like so. Okay, so the hash is vital and you have to get exactly the same name that you put and then just add that as a link. And then now when we go to look at the page and click on our history, it will automatically scroll smoothly all the way down to that section. Uh, so that's how you can create you know, these lovely anchor point links within your pages. Okay, and here's a look at um, how you would implement this for a one page website. So this is one I've already built and you can see when I click on these um, menu items, you get this lovely smooth scrolling effect down to the relevant section again. Um, and this is just pretty much the same principle. So you create your um, targets within the page, which I'll show you quickly here. So if I go down here to the FAQ section, you see all I've done in advance here is add the FAQ anchor as you normally would. Okay, but the key difference here is where you put the uh, target, you put it in your menu. So if I go to my menus now, all you have to do is in your menu structure here, you add it as a custom link. So uh, you'll see the custom link thing here. Just add it as a custom link. And then in that custom link, Let's look at the FAQ one as an example. You do the same thing. So you just put that um, the hash and then the target name. Target name has to be exactly the same. And then the navigation label can say whatever you like. Um, in this case, I've just used exactly the same. And that's how you create, that's how you can use um, the plugin Easy Smooth Scroll Links um, to create these lovely what either one page or websites or uh, these lovely links within pages themselves okay so i hope you hope you uh, like it if you have any questions whatsoever pop them in the comments below and i'll answer them thanks very much for watching